Welcome to Pro Tools First for Beginners Part 1. Remember to subscribe to creatingtracks.com for more exciting episodes. So we're going to be looking at Pro Tools First. Pro Tools First is free. This is the first time the world experts in audio production have gone. We're going to give you this software for free. It usually costs a lot of money and is very hard to buy, but they're saying, you know what, we're going to give it to you for free and you can use it and have fun with it. So it's really exciting. What else can we do with Pro Tools? It, we can record real instruments, actual instruments. So we can make some real sounds. You can take your guitar, you can take your piano, and you can take your voice and record it. If you want even more, you can even record virtual instruments. So you can put synthesizers, you can add some drum beats on and make your tracks really exciting. And this is all for free. Isn't this good? Uh, and you can record up to 16 tracks. So you can have vocals, you can have guitar, you can have synth, drums, all lined up together and make something really exciting out of it. And Pro Tools can add sound effects. You can have some reverb, you can have some delay and make your music really start sounding professional, sound as good as what you hear on radio because most of them do use Pro Tools. So Pro Tools is basically a great free recording software and it's really exciting and we're going to cover how to download it and how to install this great program. So go to the internet and type in Pro Space Tools Space First. Hit the enter key and you'll reach a few links. Click on Pro Tools First dash Avid. Avid is a company that makes Pro Tools. And once we get to the web page, it will tell you how to download this great program. So the first thing you do, you've got to do is create an account. Um, you may either have an Avid account or if you probably don't, then you go ahead and create an account just like anything else. You give them the, your email address and create a password. And then once you've done that, they send an email to your email address and say, can you verify your email address? And you say, sure. And you click a button and then you go back to their web page. And then on their web page, they ask you to say, tell me a bit about yourself. Are you a recording artist? Are you doing it for fun? Are you doing it for money? It doesn't matter. They won't charge you. They just want to know what you're going to use the software for. You're then going to create an iLock account. An iLock is like a USB stick that saves your memory on it in terms of what you're going to be doing and what your passwords and stuff are. Luckily for this product, you don't need an actual iLock. You just need to have an account. So it's really exciting. You don't need to buy anything. So once you go there and create your iLock account, then you can download and install Pro Tools first. And this is what we're going to be looking at doing now. So we're going to assume that you've downloaded the software, you've gone through all the steps, and when you open your download menu in your program, you will see that they have a link there. It's called Pro Tools first. So what we're going to do is we are going to go and double click on it. And then it opens it up. We wait. Right, we've got three options. One says install Pro Tools first. One has documentation and one has licenses. So we click on install Pro Tools first. We double click. And then it says continue. And we say yes, continue. It says welcome to Avid. And then we say continue. And then if you agree with what's written, you say continue. If you agree, you say I agree. So have a read of it, say agree. It'll take 938 megabytes of space on your computer, so it's not too big. Click the install button and it goes through a bit of stuff. You've got to enter your username and password from your Avid account in the space. So you type in that and you click go on and you keep going. You write the files down. It takes some time, it takes about a minute or two, then you run the package scripts and then Norton turns up. If you've got Norton and says, yo, there's something happening from Avid, should we do it or not? And you can say, yes, go ahead and do it. You can read some more information and they're basically telling you that Avid is doing something on there. So you know Avid's doing it, so it should be fine, don't worry. So you can click the save button if you wish. This is only if you have Norton. If you haven't got Norton, you won't be seeing this message. 
So we wait for these scripts to run, to install themselves, and then they write it, they validate it, and it says it was done with a big green tick mark. So you click the close button, and if you go to the bottom of your screen, you'd see a new logo there, which looks like a little inverted V, which is Pro Tools First. So join us soon for part two, where we look at how we use Pro Tools First, and remember to subscribe for more exciting episodes.